and welcome to Better Biz. You know, all businesses these days need to pay attention to IT services in a proactive way, which is why we have got Peter Loosely, the Managing Director of Virtual IT Managed Services with us today. Peter, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us along, Anthony. Now, Peter, you've been around for a little while in IT, and I love this headline of this story, and I'm just keen to hear more about it. 80 staff, 72 servers. That just sounds like a ridiculously complicated setup for, for someone. What do you do when you face something like that? Um, try to approach it very, very gingerly. People don't like to know that they've made some um, very large mistakes. So one of the clients that we uh, took over, when we approached them, they had um, 75 servers and about 80 staff. And the reasoning behind that was that the company had uh, divestitured and dropped a huge amount of their business um, and also their requirements from what they used to be. They used to be a very large company and had dropped down to actually a small company. But the unfortunate part was that the IT department that they had working for them at that stage didn't understand or have the confidence to be able to reduce their infrastructure enough. And that becomes a problem because when their licensing bills came up, they were required to license the 75 servers and they were required to license a lot of redundant systems that they weren't even using anymore. So having our years of experience and the backgrounds that we came from, we were able to look at each one of the servers, analyze it and find out what the purpose of the server was and remove it actually from the system. That same client is with us even today and we've now got that down to, I think our latest count is 18 servers. Of uh, These are all virtual systems now. Um, but the, uh, the ideal scenario is that we've also proposed to them a total cloud solution and that actually is a count of eight systems in total, eight servers. That is a huge refinement of, of processes. Peter, you've given us a lot of amazing information today. Uh, how do people get more of that if they want to on a regular basis? Well, one of the things that I think would be the best value for people would be through our weekly cyber tech tips, which they can subscribe through on our website.